Extra. Some kids already heading back to school. Yes. Some today, their first day. Others within the next week or two. But making sure you have that list checked out. And each day that school back to school list gets larger and larger. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring in our organizing expert, Lisa Woodruff. Lisa, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for stopping by. I know sure. we were just laughing during the break. I feel like we say this every year, but something about this summer, it just flew it by. It flew by. It really did. And I think mainly because we didn't have like that all that heat. Right. You know, it just, it, we kind of uh, escaped us. But the most important thing is making sure that our kids head back to school. Because I right. know I have a little one in my house, and so there's a little bit of, not panic wouldn't be the right word, but making sure she has everything Anxiety. she's supposed to. Yeah, right. yeah, there's, yeah. that's a good So word. What's, your, what's your number one tip? So the kids are really excited, and you're really excited to yeah. check off the school list. It'll cost maybe $100 to get all these supplies, right? Wow. You think you're done? Yeah. No. Friday was the most expensive day of my life, and it started with the doctor getting all these forms oh, signed, and yes. then they both needed new glasses. It's that kind of stuff that you forget to go and check off your so list. It's so it's more than paper I mean. and pencil. So if, right. if you haven't taken your kids for their yearly checkup, this is probably right. a good time of year to do it. Yeah, hopefully yeah. you already booked that. Yes, get it done. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to be a challenge getting in to right. see the doctor. Mm -hmm. oh. But like at our kids' school, they could take over the counter medicine if you have it signed off by a doctor. Okay. So buying new medicine that hasn't been opened yet, getting the doctor to sign it so it's there on the first day. So if they get a sore throat, they're allowed to have a lozenge. You don't have to drive into school. Yes, yeah, that's yes, a good that makes a lot of mm -hmm. sense. A lot of sense. Then you also have here the haircut. I mean, you got to think yeah. about the school haircut, right? I always forget that my son needs a haircut. <laughs> You'd think every six weeks yeah. you know they need a haircut. You, you don't think about it until you're putting them on the bus going, oh, would have looked better that first day of school picture if we'd gotten the haircut. A little haircut, a little trim. Mm -hmm. I love the medicine thing because I think that's something we always forget mm -hmm. about. And then you're getting that phone call in the midst of your day. So that just allows you to have a little bit smoother start to the school year. So, right. okay, so making lists, though, that's what I like you have first. You have a checklist. Go right. through that first. So this is all the stuff that I came up with that I normally forget. Mm -hmm. And I've been tackling this list for a couple of days, and I've got a whole bunch to do next week. But orthodontist, doctor, we're going to the dentist, um, getting and all the kids some new school uh, appointments shoes. Appointments are important because once they get back into school, they're doing after-school sports. Too hard. They've got a lot of studying going really on. Mm -hmm. The every day or the right. every six-month appointments, they get forgotten about. Yeah, and our insurance is great, so I actually schedule our kids' dentist appointments at spring break and in August. That's perfect. You have to check your insurance. Sometimes it has to be six months apart, but ours is two in a calendar year, so I can schedule it on the break. Oh, that's nice. What okay, about here? Really the uh, So I see the deodorant. I'm thinking, okay, in the sports bags, you want to cut down on yes. the BO a little bit? Well, I had a really fun day at Walgreens with my kids. Yeah. <laughs> we went and spent an hour laughing, smelling all the different deodorant. They're in middle school now. I can't just go buy what I want and throw it at them. Uh, they won't wear it. They smell good. Yeah. It's big. Take them in, spend an hour, get some quality time, and find what they'll wear. <laughs> and I think just key is letting them know that they have it. When they pick it out and they pack it, they know it's there. Correct. This one, actually, yes. I, oh, this is the dub. I was traveling the yard a few weekends ago and I forgot my deodorant. Yeah. And this is the only thing I could find. This is nice if you want to smell like a, like a grandma. Like powder? Yeah. Low powder. Is that the powder fresh? Yeah, low powder smell. fresh, mm -hmm. just to let powder you know. Fresh. Yeah. yeah. Very good. And then over here, you got your lunches, right? Okay, so you're going to be or in the snacks. car. Like, moms, you may forget, but you are going to be in the car. I'm in the car three hours a day once school starts. So that means a lot of fast food if I don't have, you know, pretzels in there. My kid's school is half an hour away. Mm. So they get in the car, they're starving. They're literally they starving. Right. This is a good idea, packing them up and just keeping them in the car. So right. it's not like Paris yeah. granola bars. That's good. Right. That's very good. And then, of course, extra gym clothes. Have those ready to go, right? Yeah, you get a demerit if you don't have those at our school. Mm. You, better, you better have your <laughs> proper attire. Thanks, Lisa, for this information. Sure, Where can we good. get more tips? Uh, I have a blog, Organize365.com. Okay. Love that. Excellent. We're going to talking talking more college students when we come back in a little bit. Yep. We're going to help oh. us get our college kids ready. Remember all the big plastic bins you had to get to put underneath the bed? And Lisa's going to help us with that. That styrofoam mattress pad you would put on top of the bed in college? <laughs> I know. I know. It's crazy. All those little things. Thanks, Lisa. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. okay. Thanks, Lisa. We'll start.